A proposed bridge in Boston Harbor is creating a big divide. The Long Island Bridge is in need of some serious repair. A lot of little supporting pieces here are rotted clear through. This is beyond just a, a little bit of sandblasting and paint. If a new bridge goes up out there, traffic's going to get worse here. We've suffered for years with the buses, the ambulances, the trucks that go out and service Long Island. Another line in the sand in the battle over rebuilding the Long Island Bridge. Quincy just took a big step to try to stop Boston from rebuilding it by banning construction vehicles from going near the site. Hundreds of Boston's homeless are sleeping in cots like these in the South End Fitness Center, and it's unclear how long that will be the case. This is their last refuge, and then that being taken away from them. You have to keep them healthy, and we have to keep them housed, and not on a floor, and not on a mat or a cot. There's no way that the city of Boston, as rich as it is, cannot find the resources to fix this problem. Yerp. What is up, explorers? Today, we're gonna be pirates. Me and Radic are sailing on Radic's lovely kayak, AKA the Black Pearl, to this island way down there. You can barely see it on the screen. It's a little dinky looking island, but it's actually an entire abandoned island with like 10 buildings on it. This island was first used in the 1600s for Native Americans. They were living on the island. A lot of different groups ended up taking it over and then Americans pretty much owned it. Then they used it as a fortress. There's like military bunkers on it. There might be even tunnels under there. It's all rumors. And I know there was guns at one point on the island as well. People died on that island. Like a lot of different things happened there. In 1928, it was first then opened again as a homeless shelter. And then in 1940s, it was turned into a chronic disease control facility. It was a hospital for anyone that has diseases. There was over 700 doctors there. There was over 1,100 patients on this island. There's a laboratory on this island. It's all abandoned. But in more recent, recent times, in the late 1900s, it turned into a recreational center. Anyone that was trying to benefit their lives, grow, get better as a person, get off drugs, were going here on this island. And then, then it also turned into a homeless shelter. The homeless people were also living there. They have a fine arts center in there. They were doing live performances there for these people. Everything was great on this island. It was all positivity and helping and growing on this island. And it was all transferred and done through a bridge. We're gonna see, I think, some of this bridge when we go. It was demolished in 2015. And when they demolished that bridge, they kicked everyone off the island. The mayor said that this bridge was unsafe and no one can go on this island. So they kicked the homeless off. They kicked everyone that was, you know, trying to benefit their lives and grow as a people, the recreational center. They just dismantled the entire center. They said, everyone leave. Because of this bridge, they kicked everyone off this island. And they demolished the bridge, blew it up, and now this whole island is sitting there with everything still there and all buildings are there and no one's on it. No one's allowed on it anymore. It don't make sense. I just don't get it. So we're gonna head up on this island. We're gonna uncover some secrets and explore it. Let's get it. Now, explorers, I don't recommend doing this. I don't know how safe it is, but the water's a bit calm, thank God. We're gonna put our life jackets on. I've only been in a kayak twice, so I'm gonna wing this one. No. And we have our gear with us, so I'm praying to God everything will go good, because this could be a bit sketchy. And it's already 4 p.m. right now, and it's gonna get dark around 7.30, so we have to rush. <laughs> All right, yo, I'm in sync, bro. I'm in sync. Dude, if the waves actually got bad, we're f***ed. We just gotta go on the island, bro, and then just be sure there's no one there. This is the boy right there. Where are oh, Well, he better f***ing see us, dude. He's coming right towards us. <laughs> Should we just wait a minute? Oh my god. Dude, we're close, bro. Watch out right here. Whoa. Hang on. As fast as you can. Okay. We made it. Oh. Land ho! Oh. Wow, that was a mission. Between the two huge boats coming by, making the waves, and my ten thousand dollar of equipment on my boat floating. That was scary. But dude, check this out. At one point, this was a full-on bridge and access to this island. It's really crazy to see that. And it should just come right up there. I feel like we're in Castaway. Oh! Oh, it's Whoa. Sand. What the hell? It's just, no, it's just mud or something. Oh, that's like old, that's like fine grit sand. Dang, I gotta wash these later. Everything is so overgrown right now. The only thing we see so far is this broken up bench. But that's where the city actually is, the ghost town. 
I call it city and ghost town. It's a ghost town. I'm trying to find any sort of path to get onto a road, but I don't see nothing. It's completely overgrown here. Yo, I think we might have found something. This leads into, I think, the, the road. You, you can even see telephone wires. This is so amazing though. Dude, I love island stuff. I, I do a lot of island adventures with uh, Dan and the crew in the UK, but not too much in the US. So this is super fun for me. Oh, we get into some swamp. Hang on. I'm walking over some of it. There probably is deer ticks. Uh, we'll have to check ourselves when we're out of here. What? Is it on? Yes, the numbers are on. Oh my god. Oh wow. Look at this road. It's like Jurassic Park guy. No one's going on this road. <laughs> I know. This is insane. This is actually... Yeah. Dude, just know that not a single car no is going to come down this road. This not... is crazy. I know. No way. I know. I this is fun. On. Yeah, this is, this is honestly gnarly though, for real. Look at this. We're just walking the lonely road. You know, it's really uh, cliche to say this, but nature is really taking over everything. Yeah, I, I, I actually didn't know the sign was there until I walked over there and then just looked back for a minute. <laughs> this is so good, dude. Dude, we're amped, we're amped right now. I mean, think about think about the adventure. We definitely kayaked 1.5 miles. It's not too bad, but I got I don't kayak, and I got super scared of the boats passing by. Guys, we're doing this for you. We're doing this for you guys. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. Everyone, hit that bell button. You already dang know. You already know. Dude, They're all going out of the cement. They broke. The how cement. how are they even gr cracking the cement? I have no idea. Tozo, no stopping. Guardrails right there. Can barely see it. It's 5:45 right now. We have about probably two hours. Two hours to bang this out. Let's let's get it. I'm starting this video so late. Very unprofessional of me. We got this. I'm not gonna lie. They don't call this Long Island just cause. It's actually super long. We've been. This might be a two-mile actual walk, or at least a mile all the way up to the ghost town itself. Look over here now. Now we see a huge cross. We're coming up to a cross now over there. What, right behind the trees. The water tank is massive over there. And if you look right here, here we go. Boom. Just a huge cross in the middle. This is honestly, and Raktor said, this is Shutter Island. If you haven't seen Shutter Island with Leo DiCaprio, Leonardo DiCaprio, you have to see it. The whole idea of like him going to a hospital. Um, it was an asylum though. This one was more for chronic diseases, but still, it's unbelievable. A lot of the workers that were actually living on Long Island were doing a lot of crops and a lot of farm work here. This was almost a self-sustaining living area for, at one time where they didn't have to leave the island to get their food or they didn't have to leave their island to get their water. It was kind of all here. Oh my God, no, this is unbelievable. We are now coming right up to the ghost town. I'm freaking nervous. This is so cool. Oh my God. That looks like the hospital maybe. It's so old looking. This is honestly insane. I might have said that like 10 times. Dude, this was the farm I was just talking about. They would grow a farm. And there's a greenhouse in the back. Past this bridge, next to this tank, lies the Serving Ourself Farm, located on Long Island in the Boston Harbor. Here, homeless people, farm and garden, and have the opportunity to serve themselves by growing their own produce in which they eat. There's, a, there's an alarm. Yeah. No, I don't think it's us, dude. I think that alarm has been going off. I'm positive. I am positive that alarm has been going off. Those are old, old fire trucks. Check these out. Yeah, these ain't <laughs> current times. Look. Dude, so now we're looking at the Long Island shelter for this was for the homeless right here, this building. Let's see if we can peep inside some of these. Really amazing. This is truly an incredible experience. All right. 
Long Island shelter right there. And this building, I don't know exactly what it is, but there's a basketball court right over there. I love when you know the history about these places and then you can connect it when you're exploring them, when you're actually here and you're like, whoa, this was this back in the day and just put the pieces together. It is, it's amazing. It's crazy because in October is when they shut this place down and they kicked everyone out of the island. And this, this calendar is still here. And now we're inside the homeless shelter. And this place is massive. This power on and it connects, it connects everywhere. The shelter rules. Nudity is not permitted, it says. No stealing is number 17. No vandalizing the shelter or guests' property. Look at this. This was the men's dormitory, it says right here. Maybe they just left their stuff, never took it when they got evacuated. Like they kind of just dipped out. Dude, a lot of their belongings are here. There is a health lab here somewhere. There's a medical lab. I don't know where, but I want to find it before dark. I don't even know where this goes. I think we just entered a new building. A lot of them are destroyed from the water. Let's go, Radic. Yeah. Where did we end up? I don't know where we are. Oh what does it say down there? Let's check. I think there's a lab. Dude, this is a library, I think. Oh my god. Radic. We're at an old library. Oh no way. This is unbelievable. Everything is this is freaking amazing. Look at how it's decayed and perfect. Oh my goodness. This is the best. They are perfect. So this cool. is the best place. I've, this might be one of the top places ever. I mean, the books are all faded. The colors are all faded on the books. You can't even tell what they are anymore. I know. And there's so much to go. We could be here like for 24 hours, literally. Is this the cafeteria? Or what? Oh my, it's the stage. This was a performing arts center. That's what it was. Everything's clicking. Yo, Radic, you gotta check this out too, bro. Oh my gosh. So again, explorers, when the homeless was here and you know, people was in the hospital, they needed things to do on this island. And one of the things to do was performing arts stuff. Plays, performances, movies were played here. It's to keep people entertained and going. The light is shining through here opening up. I mean, this is incredible. I can only imagine how this place was back in the day when it's open. It must have been really nice. I mean, we are literally in heaven. This is like Chernobyl. It's, I don't know. How did I not even know about this before? My gosh, and we're always, we're always just uncovering more places, more places, more places. When we think it's done, it's just never ending. So at the moment, this area is blocked. But this was a chapel right here. It might be another way in. We're gonna keep looking. Oh no, it's just right behind here. Man. Oh my God. And you know, it's not much, but for its time, it, it will do. Yeah, I mean, this is still standing. There's no graffiti. The glass ain't even really broken. Um, it's fake like stained glass, but so what? I mean, it's preserved. The long curtain robes are still kind of attached. This whole place is actually not even vandalized. It just naturally decayed. And besides that, so far I've noticed a lot of these places has fireplaces in every room. And the reason why is just because they simply had no other way of heating the place. They had to use fire. This place is that old. There was no heating system here yet. Now I'm walking on the stage. Beware of all ye who shall pass. Halt. All you smell in the air is mad dust. All the tables that were there are just on the stage. So underneath the theater, I found some hospital beds. But we're gonna head back into the shelter now, the homeless shelter, and we're gonna explore it and, you know, it connects into so much things. It might even connect into the medical area. So, just how this connected into the homeless, I mean, into the theater. So we'll, we'll keep going. This says wing one. Assuming these were uh, people's beds. Yup. Right around here. Wow. Yeah. 
This was just the staff area, their lunch. Do you know what's weird? Oh, dude, besides the kitchen <laughs> knife? <laughs> think about their old headphone sets. I think we just found like a scanner that detects if you have like guns or any metal objects in you. That's crazy. Where are you? Where's this food right here? It's all open. No! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh can, my dude, god. Dude, we're not gonna go hungry. So we can just survive and dude, live on like, the island? Pop tarts. Oh, something bit them open though. Oh, something bit them open. Yeah, the rats, bro. Oh. <laughs> no, wait, we gotta find one that's not bit open. There's we're gonna survive on the island? Oh my god, they're all bit open. <sighs> just to show you how this place is like still full of things. I mean, all the insulation, medical supplies, it's still all inside. Attention all guests, first floor is closed from 9 p.m. to 10.45 p.m. This was all the homeless shelter's beds. Oh, I didn't even see this over here too. Oh my God, all their pills and meds, bro. Whoever stayed here just left everything. Dude, look outside. I keep forgetting we're on an island. I mean, we still have so much to see. Dude, yeah, these are for, these are Janowskis. These are actually worth a lot of money. Oh my God. Like 80 bucks. So the female dorm only. It's boarded up, so the guys just all stay outside. But it seems like all the girls were in just in one big area. Not many people left things, just a few stuff. Razors on the floor, some meds. Oh, that's an old school TV. I'm literally not surprised if I find someone dead here. Like, I'm not even joking. All right, so that is pretty much this whole entire wing. Yeah, so I don't know what this is gonna lead into maybe more. Maybe more. We can go upstairs. There we go. Yeah, let's check upstairs quick and keep moving. We still have a lot to go through. More homeless. Oh my God. Dude. And they're all on an island. Dude, if, like you, if I wouldn't know better, I would have assumed this was like the sick, like for the sheltered, like like a zombie apocalypse happened, yeah. their emergency. It, it's so, that's what it feels like. They could have used this for COVID. This could have been the island used they, if they felt like it. But the mayor, for some reason, just blew up the bridge and never put it back and they just left all this sitting here. Like, I, I generally don't understand that. Just in case. One of the only places I still see with pay phones that are intact. Dude, I love the glass blocks. You don't see these anymore. Wow. Glass floor. I'm so proud of the Whoa. Now the sun is starting to come down, Radic. It looks beautiful up here. I know. What is this? Respect the zone. Dude, this was a whole chill spot. Urban Explorers must have set this back up. <laughs> the secrets they keep, man. I love it. This is such a cool spot. Look at this. Welcome. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. You got chill here. Everyone's chilling. Dude, this is the chill, the chill spot. And they have a fan set up and the power is actually on. Yeah. They have a bed. Oh my god, they have fans. Wait a minute. I was gonna I was gonna say. But dude, it's plugged in. Let's do a power strip. You just have to turn power strip on. Oh, Told you. the lights are <laughs> Yeah, no way. This is oh, No, this is the roof access too. We're going up there. Dude, this is the chill spot where everyone's chilling. No way. Bro, we can have a vacation here. I want to have a vacation here. <laughs> this is nuts. This is oh. freaking nuts. They're literally just hanging out. Got the fans on. You can watch TV. Someone had, what is this? Oh, oh, this was hand sanitizer. Oh man. my gosh. People literally chill out. They, yeah. We like can actually bring uh, bowls with, and put them in water and make we, ramen noodles up here. We can. Yeah. This is the chill spot. Oh, I'm going to shut that down. Oh my god. This is the secret urbex spot, man, for sure. Stuff lock. Yeah, they have their own lock here. So whoever, who, someone, who's ever exploring, comes here. yeah, who's ever exploring here, put their own locks here. Yeah, dude, they come here often. They have to. They got a jack in a box for no reason. They're chilling. 100,000 likes, and I'll come back here and do a ghost video overnight here. So here is all unknown. 
this goes to another building or it goes into more shelters and we just don't even know it. So we gotta figure this out as we go. So far, I cannot believe what we found and what we've been seeing. Uh, we literally just had this idea of coming to this island, just hearing about it on the news, seeing it on the TV a few times in the past. We're like, we wanna come here. And after all this time of waiting or discovering it, we decided to put the work in and come out and risk it all. We're here and it's been nothing but amazing, nonstop, maybe one of my best abandoned places I've ever explored. And that's because the vibe. Out and we see the whole Boston city line right behind us. The sun's coming down. We, we seen the library, a theater we did not know anything about. We found the shelter and we're still just looking around. Maybe the medical building that I'm looking for is not here, but that's okay because everything else is still here. We haven't even seen yet. There's a lot to still see. So let's get back downstairs and get out of this building and keep going to all the other ones around here. There's a lot to go to, so guys, let's get it. I like seeing before and after pictures. This was all taken here. Especially this one. Check this out. That photo is literally in here. The back of the cafeteria is just the kitchen, of course. All their pat pots and pans are actually still here. Silverware, forks, I mean, it's all here. <laughs> Nothing can be scrapped here. That's the crazy thing. No scrappers can finally remove or take anything out of here because we're on the island. I mean, you, you would have to have the biggest boat to throw everything onto it and leave. That's the, the big reason why, uh, well, one of the reasons why nothing's scrapped or vandalized here is because of reasons like that. We're on an island. Yeah, we're gonna take that bridge, that's where like the shampoo and things are, and take it and go inside to this building next. It's starting to get dark, and one of the things that Radek's concerned about, and I definitely agree with him, is the fact that we get a kayak back at night, and we're gonna use the light that I'm using right here as a light, because a boat or something can hit us, so that's the thing we're kind of scared of. So, a three-way intersection, looks like offices, I guess. Let's just keep moving straight, see where it goes. Maybe like actually one more building. Yeah, this could be the hospital side, bro. This might be the hospital side. Out here, uh -huh. there's a lot more building on the on the left side. Yeah, you're right. This I think this all connects. Yeah, it does. It's all just a big block. This might be the hospital building. Maybe there's still a lab here. It might be. There's a gym here. Yeah, for some reason all the gym equipment's here. I want to, dude. Do you know how expensive dumbbells are? I know. There's a lot. Huh. This seems weird. Like. The flooring and everything seems weird here. They were remodeling this. No, this is old. This is probably from the old time. No, this is all remodeled. No. Yes, it is. Check. They remodeled the whole bathroom, but they never finished. Uh, but these are old. Like, yeah, because they're fixing it. Yeah, they're going to put in new floors. Right? Yeah. Yeah, look. Yeah. This was definitely... Um, part of it was a hospital, though. You can tell by the first floor. What is going on here? Maybe, yeah. Yeah, you're right though, but where, what is going on here now? Double staircase. These are actually really cool. Have you ever seen these? I've seen stuff like that in a boat. I don't know. I think this is like an entertainment section. Oh, this is where the pool uh, uh, sticks are from. Yeah, you got the pool table here. Oh, and this was the gym. Yeah. It might lead us oh, in there. This is the one that we couldn't. Uh, this is the one I filmed when we were walking on the side with the towers. Oh, so have we been in there yet or not? No, yet? no, no. We walked next to it. We didn't go inside. All right. I, I didn't think you could. This place is massive, bro. This is a big area. Yeah, it's gutted here, but this was the hospital. Yeah, anything. Operation room, something. So we left that building. We're finally out. Still in the same area, I guess. We're just trying to find anything. And some of this, like for example, look at that, if you can see it. See those blinking lights? Like, what is that? I mean, lights are going off on their own here on this island. They just start flickering. I don't know what's going on, but it is freaking amazing to be here. I wanna, dude, we need to go in there. Yeah, you see that house. flickering? That's the fire house, the fire department house. That one? Yeah. Oh, that's why it's probably flickering. I will stay out of that one. So what's your feelings right now on this place? I love it. I want to come back. It just reminds me of Shutter Island. I feel like Leonardo DiCaprio is like hiding in one of these buildings or something. <laughs> or 
Or you might find that guy that was like trying to kill him and stuff. Yeah. I feel like this whole place is just dumb. I don't know, it should have been shut down. Like, they have electricity here, they had a bridge. They could have renovated it, they could have used it for so many good things, and it's just been completely abandoned. And yeah. Not. So here's what these, these look like almost like mini barracks. They almost look like barracks. There's like three in a row here. And this is what they look like inside. We've already kind of seen them on accident. We were kind of like patrolling around. They all look like this. Yep, and with the red light. Obviously, we didn't explore every inch of this place, but we're just kind of moving around and cruising around for sure. Um, so far, we did touch almost every building per se though. Um, we got the ones in the back we haven't seen yet. Uh, I don't think I've seen these yet. And the one back there with the light right there, I did not see. I wanna see what's down here just by peeking though. Braddock said he found a church, so we're gonna go peep that. Um, I also wanna see what's in this building for sure. And then, after this, this is pretty much the ghost town part. I don't know what's past here, because there's some buildings down there. They could be maybe somewhat active in some way, I don't know. I'm gonna go peep those out after this. Now we're approaching the church. Is the door even open or no? I don't know, but all I can say is that everything is there. The benches, the lights, everything. Oh my god, yeah it is. There's probably a door that's open in the back. Let's just look around. Oh, it's locked too. We might not be able to get inside the church, bro. Wait, don't give up yet. Nothing beats that view though, boys. Damn, look at that. Oh. Is it open, Radic? Yeah, well, I think that's open. Uh, I don't know, but it looks like it to me. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Someone just destroyed the whole door. That's good. Ah. Ah. I like how you didn't destroy the same glass. You we're in. Yep, we're in the church. You said you wanted to cover your prey, right? I do. Yeah, we need to pray before we get back on the kayaks. Oh no. Ah. Damn. Okay. What's up? We're good. Dude. Might be one of the nicest churches that are abandoned I've ever seen. Dude, there's a there's a camel in the middle. I don't know. We're just chilling with the camel right there. And then look at this. Wow. Nothing but bangers. I really like the lights on this one. Dude, yeah, this church is really cool. Look at all the carved crosses oh, and the seats. Yeah, this is really awesome. A perfectly intact statue. Again, we got the camel over there on the right. We have a statue right here. I wonder if there's any like priest outfits and stuff here. Anything in this? What is this? Oh, I don't know what would even be in there. Let's go. Uh, now they have Bibles. I think. Bibles are, yeah, another statue. That one's decaying from the weather. I was looking for the confession stands. Here they are. <laughs> no, I got nothing to say. It's all good. Now we're talking. I think this is real stained glass. So, this is cool. My boy's just chilling here. He's probably been here for like an entire five years before it closed down. It hasn't even moved since. Maybe just for like urbex photos. What the hell is that? Some rodent. Oh, oh, disgusting. What? I slipped on the holy water on the church floor. <laughs> I can't think of my other foot all Oh. I think I'm blessed. I'm in the basement now, just checking things out. I mean, there's a lot of statues here. A lot of statues. It's a dead, yeah, it's some sort of dead rat. It is weird. It is weird. I get like weird vibes. Like, I get weird vibes throughout the whole place though. All right, so we're gonna take this way, and it should bring us into the other buildings we missed. It could be the, it's the admin building, and I don't know what's in there, but we're just gonna go ahead and just kind of wing it. Let's try it. 
let's do it and again peace out to the church really dope again it's just like the power's on it's just i don't know we know a lot of people kind of died here over time and the years it is kind of freaky man but it's very relaxing just at night but the thing is i never explore abandoned places at night and to top it off we're on an abandoned island so exploring abandoned places at night and being on an island it's kind of nervous kind of makes me a bit nervous um ghost hunting here it's very possible i bet maybe another time i'll try it but again we're gonna need a lot of likes i don't know how many i said a hundred thousand but who knows old radios Dude, why is there like baby stuff here? Uh, I didn't really get infantry room for the... Uh, yeah, I, I honestly, bro, I don't even know. Yeah, I'm not sure why, but it's even all set up. Not only is it all set up, but just, yeah, why is this all here? Dude, that dollhouse is actually pretty cool, though. <laughs> you could, I like, I feel like I've seen that in like Goosebumps or horror videos. But dang, dog, no, this is really set up kind of nice. <laughs> These hallways just look freaky. Just dorms. Well, they're all empty. They, I, I'm just assuming they're dorms. Well, remember, remember this too. Again, it was for the homeless, but again, a lot of people were staying here because this was a recreational center and they were doing a lot of different um, things here. That explains why the, uh, maybe the baby room was even there actually to look after their kids when they're in classes and things like that, you know, yada, yada. Yeah, so guys, this is the Hello House. And again, Volunteers of America, a lot of people would come here, they would do programs and classes here. And that was all done here. You can tell they're gonna fix it up. One day, this will be in use again. It could be 20 years from now, 10, who knows, but something will happen here. Cause you can tell this is all getting fixed up slowly or it was at one point, could have been even six years ago. And maybe now they don't know what they're doing with it anymore, but I can see it coming back. Dare whoever, thank you for leaving those wonderful couches. Best sleep I've ever had in an abandoned building. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Six Flags back in 2000. And these are people that were like, you know, staying here. And that's like the photos of them having a good time. Dude, the staff and everything did a good job at funding this, man. Probably like an organized event. Yeah, they organized it, took them out. It's nice. It's a good project. I don't know either, bro. I really don't. We were just on an island, again, abandoned, and we're just roaming. Like, I don't know what we're doing. I'm desperate. I, for all I know, the lab's gone. I didn't, I didn't talk to a single person or ask anyone for information on this place. I just came. So I don't know nothing. If I knew or, my phone's dead. I could have saved myself and asked, but I wanted to make this more of a journey of exploring and having a good time and just not knowing what's actually here. Like, I didn't know about the stadium or the theater when we came up to it. It bl blew my mind. Okay. Back. We're back. Dang. So, so we kind of did all of the buildings. I feel like it might be in one of the big buildings. Yeah, maybe the big one be, or the ones in the north. north. All right, let's get out of here. Um, somehow. Let's take this way. I don't know where I am anymore. So we're, we're like right here. Yeah, we're right there. And behind, uh, ahead of us, is a pool it looks active look at that the, that the lawn it's like a lawn there it's shaved oh, it's gonna load. like the whole grass is cut yeah so this is not where we need to go this wasn't for us not for yeah us. it looks yeah the solar panels on the roof that's something you worry about this place yeah that's why we don't need to go this way i was just making sure there's nothing left and back here though is where like there's like guns like world war ii forts back I there i heard about that yeah but other than that we don't need that and this is what we've been doing all Oh, this that's a lot we did this whole section here i think i haven't in this building that's no, the didn't. fire hydrant building right the firefighter building firefighter buildings no the firefighter one is right here okay so oh no oh, oh that's the other one like they had the gym equipment in it yeah, okay yeah, yeah. we're almost done now oh we could just check out this one right here yeah uh, that's the last one dude it, well that's like hidden we didn't even see yeah. it yeah let's go check that out oh it's a great thing to have freaking google maps because honestly Without that, a lot of this would have been super freaking hard. One of the 101 tips on urbex and exploring is have Google satellite. I didn't even see, not the bench, the little playground. The whole playground's covered. I didn't even see that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We could, we, we could have even missed seeing this. That's why I feel like they're... Oh, hope there's no spiders on me. 
That's what I'm saying. We there could be some more stuff we're missing here, but I'll know because I'll ask people that I know that were here. If so, because I didn't know other people I knew been here because I seen their stickers and other people put their stuff here. So I can be like, "Yo, did I miss anything?" And hopefully I didn't. I'm going up to see what the heck this even was. It, it's just nothing. But what's weird about it? Where are we? Oh, this ain't the one. Supposed to be going here. Oh, where are we? We are. Oh, at that L right one. Right here, the L building. And How do we get to that one? We just walk up. Walk this way? Yeah, we walk up and then to the side. I found a door that led us here. We're looking to see if there was a more here. We don't know. Nothing's been documented. But we're popping in here just really quick. Yeah, this is destroyed. The whole roof's, out. yeah. Maybe this wasn't anything. This is definitely like a little tunnel system. Okay. So there are tunnels on this island. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think there's little ones, but it's really not walkable. This place is trashed. We'll keep moving. All right, so here's the building. It's completely overgrown, but that's the one. Judging from the inside and the outside, it's literally just a warehouse. I mean, you get the big doors right there to load up stuff. I don't think it's anything, um, but I'll still peep in for a minute just to be sure. Yeah. No. No, it's not my stuff. We'll leave that for the proper people. The alarm is just still going off. The alarm is just going off constantly still. Yeah. I hear music. I hear music, Radic. It's coming from in there. And the lights are on. And what's going on here? It's definitely pretty creepy going into the maintenance garage with the lights fully on and just hearing music. It's just chilling. Wow. Wow. <laughs> what a freaking adventure. I'm so tired. <laughs> God. We've been walking non-stop. We've seen every inch of this place that we can think about seeing. We missed if there was anything left, like, you know, medical laboratories. I don't know if there actually was. Those lights are just going off, which is, again, pretty nuts. I think we're going to get back to the boat now. We've seen pretty much everything. Let's just hope we make it. Where? It's fake, though. Dude, no, that's a real owl guy. <laughs> yes, that's a real owl. Dude, he is pissed. Is it like yes? Yes, <laughs> and owls attack. No, they don't. Bro, yes they do. Yeah, that's not keeping real, it looks plastic. Dude, that is an owl. No, for real, it looks plastic. Dude, that is a freaking owl. No, can I throw something at it? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right, no, it is fake owl. It's dude, a fake, it's fake owl. owl. <laughs> but dude, imagine, imagine how's a real owl. Dude, you sick f you were gonna throw something at it. I know it was fake. Oh, okay. If, oh, if sure. it was real, I would have known. Sure. Hey, 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 I spent my time in the woods, man. I know it's real. Mm. Well, we're heading back to the kayak. We're gonna risk our lives and sail back. Sail. We did it. I'll get back to you when I'm back at shore because I gotta put all my attention and my entire life in focus on getting back and rowing back during the night. Hold up. We might well, not make it back on shore. True. There's wind and waves and we can't see anything. And the boats can't see us. Well, we're gonna use my light right here I got to my get back. Too. We just gotta strap it somewhere. Yeah. Oh man, I should have took that tape. No, this was all part of the adventure, man. It For is. real. And then this part getting back is gonna be rough, but yeah, it's all part of the adventure. I would record it, but honestly, I don't even want to because it's gonna be very dangerous. Uh, an hour walk to the freaking boat. We made it. I'm calling it the Black Pearl boat. I know it's a kayak. Anyways, check out our water, and this is the situation. Um, kind of choppy. But it should be doable. What do you think? Are we good, Radic? Not gonna do too good on this. I know, we it looks- We could make it, but it'll be like, maybe uh, an hour more than how long it took us to get here. All right, well. It's kind of wind and water. It's really, yeah, it's really bad. All right, guys, I'm putting the camera away. Bless us, we're going in for this one. I got life jackets anyway, though. Should be ultimately okay for the most part. So as you can see, we made it back. Um, 
It was honestly one of the scariest things I've done in my entire life. I'm not gonna lie. Braddock pretty much convinced me not to call the Coast Guards because I was literally on the phone, like about to call him up and just be like, guys, pick me up. I'm on this abandoned island. I can't get back. Dude, I can't have you turn yourself in like that. That's he didn't want me to turn myself in like that. I was like, bro, I don't care. Like, this is what happened. As we got onto the kayak and we're pushing out, the waves were smashing into us. And I started no, freaking out. Dude, they were pushing us back on shore too. Oh yeah, yeah. We that even, We couldn't even leave the island. Dude, and then there was a current <laughs> that was pushing us to, towards the abandoned bridge part. And so when this has happened, I'm like, we're gonna die. We're gonna, we're gonna die. No one can see us. It's in the pitch black. We're dead. We're losing our gear. Like, that's all I kept saying. We had to paddle so hard to get out of that. We did. We paddled really hard, and it took an hour and a half of nonstop paddling in the darkness. Like, yeah. I mean pitch black darkness. We couldn't even see where we were going, honestly. No, no. We really and, couldn't. And the waves were going in all different directions. So, we were just constantly getting splashed in the face by dark, like, ocean water. We... It, our it's, boat, it's, it's was, we were sitting in water. We were sitting our in boat water was sitting in the water. It was an Not experience good. of a lifetime. I'll never forget good. it. But I will never kayak in the dark again. But I will never kayak in the middle of an ocean water like that <laughs> ever again. <laughs> in it was life. shark season too. Yeah. This is like when sharks come out. Yeah. It was, honestly, I had so much fun. Honestly, like being in the ghost town, it felt like Shutter Island. felt like Chernobyl. Yeah. It felt like Battleship Island all mixed together for like a miniature version. Mm -hmm. But it was amazing adventure, man. Oh my God. God, I forgot one more thing. Well, this is gonna be a rant now. Oh, this is gonna be a rant. God. Remember when I said if there's gonna be anything we miss, I'm gonna put it on camera like a picture? Morgue. We missed the morgue. Oh. There was a morgue there, and guess where it was? Oh. It was where it was where I said, remember when we opened up yep. the, the, the factory? Yeah, yeah, I said, yeah. oh, to the proper this I'll leave this for the proper people because I showed all the valves and the machinery. It the, was a building on the side of that building. Yeah. Right it, on the side of so that building. Dark, we couldn't see it. Yeah, more down we would we would have seen the morgue. It's a small building, we missed it. So we got lucky, but we didn't get lucky. So now I kind of want to go back to show you guys this morgue. But anyway, here's a picture of the morgue right here. That was taken by my boy Trust Passion. That's his Instagram. He actually been there and explored the island, but he took a boat the first time. I don't know if he kayaked yeah, there. Get a boat? Uh, I don't know. We're gonna get a boat if we go back for a part two. Dude, so I'm kayak back there during the day. Uh, get it, bro. Get it. Not I'll get me. you the morgue. Not yeah. <laughs> get me the pick. For all the efforts, guys, just check out the this new channel. I just have a brand new channel. It's the second channel called Just Josh. Watching you link in the description down below this is now a three minute vlog if you're still watching this and you haven't canceled i sell merch to riseabove.shop peace out guys again we've given you original footage and original abandoned places putting these hidden spots on the map for you guys peace out